Hi YouTube, it's XD on the Spark again. I'm uh, back with part two of our YouTube channel tutorial, and uh, this is take three now because I keep screwing up and doing things wrong. So, um, and I couldn't be bothered to cut them out because Sony Vegas just takes time. So, um, we're here today to learn how to insert the text we made last time, which is here. It's looking quite cool, and uh, with the transparent background, so it's easier to copy and paste in. And um, I'm also going to be teaching you basic layer styles and um, some like basic YouTube templatey effect things to go around the sides, alright? So okay, we're going to go to do it right. So we're going to first learn some layer styles for our channel sections, okay? So double click our channel sections to bring up layer styles or right click select layer styles, either one. Okay, so I've already got these on like before we started the video because I like to prepare. So we're going to go to drop shadow, distance of zero, spread 32 and size of nine, okay? Contour and noise, whatever, yeah, they can say the same. Blend mode, multiply, definitely. Capacity 75. In the shadow, um, going to have an angle of 90, definitely 90. Use global light, oh no, yes, use global light. Capacity 75%, multiply, um, blend mode, distance zero, choke 32, size six. And then our quality, it's just going to be a normal contour, okay? Just a normal contour. Then our stroke is going to be whatever colour we want our base our YouTube background around. So find that in the side. I want to, I'm going to choose green. Okay, good colour. Go about midway down and hit OK, alright? Or maybe a little bit brighter than that, I don't know. Okay? Then then make the size of that one. Um, I don't know about two. No, definitely one, okay? Okay, that's looking cool. So we're going to hit OK, alright? So now we're going to go to our marquee top right. We're going to add a gloss to it now. And she's signing it again. Sorry, really, really nice because I can't make a new layer when she signs her own So I'm going to have to wait for her to go, stupid bitch. There you go, right, it's fine. Make a new layer, alright? Draw a marquee tool over our top bar, okay? Just the top bar. And then take our gradient tool and select foreground to transparent, okay? That's foreground to transparent. And make our foreground colour white. Click about here and drag down, alright? So that's made that. Then hit Alt. Now we're going to create a clipping mask. Which basically cuts what that layer to the one below, alright? So hit Alt and click between them, okay? Like the cursor will change when you know you've got it right, okay? So now we're gonna drop the opacity of that right down to about 30 ish. Yep, that looks alright. No, no, a bit more than that, 50. Alright, so now make another little, um, like, marquee tool over the top of this one. Alright, that needs, actually, that should cover the entire thing. So uh, yeah, I need to do that again. All right, now let's make a new layer. Take our gradient tool, take it quite far up, click and drag down, all right? That's click and drag down. Then hit Alt to make another clipping mask, all right? Then drop the opacity down, 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 down. Down, down to about 25 uh, I don't know whether that's okay or not. I'm, I'm not too keen on that, but I mean, you can always change it. Alright, so now we're going to learn how to make a circular gradient here, if you can see where my mouse is moving here. So we're going to take a an elliptical marking tool and draw it about midway over here. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then take our rectangular marking tool and click and drag around the area of the elliptical marking tool that's covering um, the like, channel box in the middle, alright? So that, one, that means we're removing from the background. Okay, so um, once we've done that, we're going to take our gradient tool again and just draw it from over it like we did before, alright? And that gives... What, oh no, sorry, we need to do something new layer. Actually, fact, no, I can't be bothered. You should, but I can't be bothered, really. Okay, alright, so that looks quite nice. That's uh, really smooth. And it looks more realistic than the normal gloss that most people do. Okay, so we've just got this, these two last little things to do. We're going to add our backdrop, uh, our little gradient in the backdrop, and we're also going to um, insert that text we made. So what we want to do is we're going to make our gradient by uh, taking the colour we were using and going about this far down, like that, that dark, like kind of that position, all right? And then take the same colour, but make it about this far up, so quite bright, but not too bright, okay? We've got reverse these, so they're like that. Go to your gradient tool, select a radial gradient, make sure that it's on a foreground to background, click in the middle, drag to the edge, Bob Jonkle, alright? So, uh, one moment, let's just take a Oh, crap, sorry, I've done it on the wrong part. 
make don't forget to make a new layer and make one underneath, then do it. My mistake. Sorry, that could really ruin your entire experience at really good. Wait for it to do it, yep, that's fine. Well that is looking okay. So we're gonna go to but just to make you this might not look very good on YouTube because uh of the quality. I don't have a very good quality on my screen recorder. You might be able to see a load of lines. Might not look very good, but just ignore that, you know, just yeah, it'll look fine on yours, alright? Um, so next all we've got to do is just add our um, text, so, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So find your text, control A to select it all, control C, go back and hit control V, alright? It will automatically do it on a new layer, drag it to the top, so it's right above, control T, then hold shift as you rotate to get it perfectly 90 degrees, okay? Alright? Then you can decide how big you want it, alright? Keep holding control right if you if you want to change the size, alright, keep holding shift to keep it in proportion, alright? I'm gonna have it like this size. And um, you can have it overlapping if you want. I mean that looks quite cool sometimes. But it doesn't have to be like that. It can be quite far back. Um otherwise, uh, I think we're coming to the end of the tutorial now. I know it doesn't look any like masterpiece right now, but all these little trust me, come back for part three and you will not be disappointed. It will be looking great by like by the end of that. And uh, part four will be all the little tweaks you didn't think that mattered, but I believe matter. Uh, yeah, so this is the end of this tutorial. Uh, peace out.